Shivaya Namah Om Ravya Namah Om Dinesh Aya Namah Om Mitra Aya Namah Om 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 Hanuman Asana, Hanuman, the power of symbol. It's a wonderful asana and uh, of course easy. Anybody can perform it. Light straight, rising sun, and I have to go arms like this. Hanuman Asana, today we are practicing Hanuman, Hanuman's Vir Bajrang, the symbol of power. This is the posture, Hanuman posture. There are a number of variations in each asana, but now we are striving for the traditional yoga that descends, originates from the Himalayan ranges. No fabrication. This single asana will give you the confidence, like energy. Valor, you'll get rid of all the anxieties, depression, all the negativities. These are all basically our energies. Nothing wrong. Even depression too is a kind of particular flow direction in which our energy is flowing. We have to ride on these things. These are our parts. Now here Hanuman Asana. Oh, nothing like solitude. Oh, welcome to Bali, Indonesia, this pious river, Shum Navratra, to my Indian friends, Om Jai Maturga, Om Ang Ring Kling, Chamunda Yei Vache, Om Ang Ring Kling, 
चामुंडा यही बच्चे तो सो हनुमान आसना गोज ये यू कैन स्प्रेड योर लेग्स एज मच एज यू कैन कंफर्टेबली आई कम इन दिस पोजीशन डिफरेंट एंगल्स आई विल शो यू सिट स्ट्रेट स्टैंड स्ट्रेट यू कैन लॉक योर हियर लाइक दिस नाउ द थिंग इज ब्रीदिंग दिस इज कॉल्ड सटल योगा सटल देयर इज अ डिफरेंस सटल मींस व्हिच इज वी आर practicing even pranayama with this this is hanuman asana i'll go like this facing the sun i'll go exhaling and try to touch my forehead here knee or more below even up to your ankle and your shoulder should come before your knee not this side see again you can see here i go this is position i exhale complete exhalation complete exhalation here hold the breath as long as you can again breathe in this is one now change on the left side and turn your foot like this so that your ankle is not damaged when you are going this side make your direction of the foot like this your toes again here exhale <gasps> see complete exhalation yeah here hold as long as you can deep breath in so this is your hanuman asana well from closer i'll show you this asana today we are sharing the most auspicious nine days of the worship of the mother goddess this the mother goddess oh sweet music this poem this is the bliss of solitude let's practice yoga alone observe solitude this is the demand of the hour your meditation already done When you stay here, this heavenly-like place, after one hour, even sitting, not doing any asana, even sitting comfortably, after one hour, definitely you come to chitta vritti nirodha sya. Your mind comes to a halt. Just with the practice of say one month, the greatest of achievement. in your many many births is your kevali kumbhaka suspension of breath the culmination of all the pranayamas the gist the nectar of the shrimad bhagavad gita chit vritti nirodhasya so as you saw it was mere demonstration i was doing my head stand then bit of noli kriya you can do like this stretching exercise may exercise when you are doing you can add this hanuman asana maximum stretch i am in a one man army so i hope you can understand complete stretching your legs they are simple exercise as down as you can go yeah exhale inhale the only thing you have to be particular about that in yoga whatever asanas you are doing even stretch exercise stretching exercise you are doing while bending forward we have to exhale completely even in this hanuman asana see you now i am going this side <gasps> complete exhalation 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 i am holding my breath now filling your lungs like this again complete exhalation this i am telling you hanuman asana Straight, <gasps> complete exhalation, complete exhalation. Yeah, then there are number of variations. We'll keep practicing. Today our purpose was Hanuman Asana and the importance of the pious rivers. As we are right now in uh, Indonesia, Bali, nothing like 
meditating in solitude and on the bank of a river. And furthermore, these nine days, there is some planetary system, it's very scientific. These nine days are very, 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 very precious to awaken all our dormant energies above and beyond. Om. So, after this you can practice knowing. Never forget practicing knowing. Sunrise. Oh, sun gazing. Here, knowing again. You can try. You can see. If I, I see, let me see if you can. Here, complete exhalation. <gasps> So like this, don't get confused with these mere words, this mana, this intellect, then your sharp intellect, then your uh, soul, super soul, God, never get confused with all these things. Even Kundalini awakening, your chakras, these are all our creation. Even if a person who is totally seemed to be a dull-minded, ignorant, he himself is God. He is enjoying in that particular God. So, another, everything in this Maya, including my, this dialogue, whosoever comes before you, it's all a part of Maya. Here. It's a very important message. Listen carefully. Whatever you see according to Gita, whatever you see, whatever you in the body, even the blinking of your eyes, attending your call of nature, everything is Maya. Any flowery speech, any intellectual speech, one whosoever we are uttering through the mouth, trying to explain, or make you merge in the God is absolutely impossible with the mere words and speeches. It really depends. For the time being, they may appeal you. I'm not trying to find the fault. I'm showing you what Maya is. The total in yoga, it depends what your schedule is, what exactly you are doing. Mere listening to some speeches, some stories, this will give you only a bit of tranquilization, nothing more than that. The only Guru is the Lord Himself, invisible. So all other persons, everybody in this creature form, that the day He merges according to Swami Vivekananda, the first great yogi, no speeches, no reference of any particular, whatever he thinks, it happens. So you have to be very choosy. You have to think, keep listening, everything is good in this world, it's Maya, it's a play of the God. But you have to stick to your disciplines, what your schedule is. What exactly you are doing. Are you observing solitude? Or still like fools and groups, doing breathing exercises in groups? Inviting the death, the more miseries. So, today, it's Navratri. What I exactly wanted to share was, this your, your schedule. Again, here is a message, solar-powered humans. It's my way of life. Not at all, no preaching. I'm enjoying my life. And to become, to transform yourself. If you want to transform yourself,